well ask why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. Looking back at that famous speech made by President John F. Kennedy to a special session of Congress on the 25th of May 1961, I think it is awful sad looking back at it because at the end of the day President Kennedy never got to see his dream of the first man walking on the moon because we all know what happened just over two years later in Dallas on the 22nd of November 1963. However, President Kennedy's dream did become a reality in less than 10 years because in just over nine years from that speech being made at 17 minutes past eight Greenwich Mean Time on the 20th of July 1969, Neil Armstrong was the first man to step foot on the moon. My name is of course Graham and you're watching Live in the Dream. In this episode, I want to look back at 1969, a year of firsts. Here in the UK, 1969 started with Marmalade at the top of the charts with Oblady, Oblada. While searching for content for this episode, I found this video, a fairly recent video in fact, of Marmalade singing Oblady, Oblada. And one thing it certainly tells me that half a century on, we're all looking a lot older. For me, looking back at 1969, not that I remember the year at all, the first first, well that doesn't sound right, but yes, the first first happened at Boeing Field in Everett, Washington on the 9th of February 1969 when Boeing first flew the 747. In less than a year, the Boeing 747 would go into service with Pan American Airlines, initially on their service between New York JFK and London Heathrow, a route that I flew many times on the Boeing 747. This particular 747 that first flew in 1970 with Pan Am was a Series 100. The Series 200 was the first 747 that I ever flew in, both in British Airways and Virgin Atlantic between London and New York and London on Miami. But I also travelled on a Boeing 747-200 between Singapore and Brisbane in September 1996 in their business class on the top deck. It was a wonderful flight and fond memories of those flights in the early 747s. However, most of us who grew up and turned adults in the 1990s and have flown in the 747 will remember fondly the 747 400, an aircraft that is only now starting to go out of service. I've flown the 747-400 with British Airways, Virgin Atlantic, Thai International and Qantas, just to name but a few. Again, between here in the UK, the United States, the Far East and even Australia. 
However, the 747 is now going out of favour. In fact, all four engined aircraft are going out of favour with airlines all over the world. And the 747 has only a few years left with British Airways. And in fact, most airlines have either, have either retired them already or are retiring them over the next two to three years. It will be a sad day for me when the Queen of the Skies stops flying with passengers on board. However, I suppose we've got to look forward. That is progress. In just a little over one week from this video being published, Fiona and I are due to fly on a 747 again, a British Airways 747-400 between London Heathrow and New York, returning five days later. We're looking forward to the flight because, as I said earlier, I think we're really counting down to these last flights on board the Queen of the Sky. I'm sorry about the quality of some of these videos, but as you can understand, 1969 was rather a long time ago. As my wife keeps reminding me, 50 years ago. So, my next number one for my year of birth is a wonderful song from an awesome talent that sadly died in 2017, and that's Peter Sarstadt. Where do you go to, my lovely? You talk like Marlene and Dietrich, and you dance like Zizi Jamais, and your clothes are all made by Palma. There's diamonds and pearls in your hair, yes there are. And you live in a fancy apartment off the boulevard. Saint Michel, where you keep your Rolling Stones records, and a friend of Sasha Distel, yes you do. Ah, but where do you go to, my lovely, when you're alone in your bed? Tell me the thoughts that surround you. I want to look inside your head, yes I do. Well, I've seen all your qualifications that you got from the Sorbonne and the painting you stole from Picasso. My next first in 1969 is yet another aviation related first, and that came on the 2nd of March 1969 in Toulouse, France, with the first flight of Concorde. I vividly remember being glued to the television back in 1975, watching the first Concords of Air France and British Airways depart with the first fare paying passengers on board. But I also remember being glued to the television in 2003, watching those final British Airways Concords land in London Heathrow with a lump in my throat, thinking that that was the last time we'd ever see Concorde in the air. And in fact, to this date, it was the last time Concorde ever flew. I was lucky enough to see Concorde when she visited Belfast International Airport at Aldergrove for the last time during the Round Britain farewell tour. Since then, like the rest of us, I have only seen Concorde at a museum, both here in Scotland at the Museum of Flight at East Fortune and at last year at the Intrepid Museum in New York City. Okay, I was going to share with you the Beatles and Get Back, which was number one when I first made an appearance on planet Earth back in the 4th of May 1969, but when I uploaded the video I get hit with one of those copyright infringements from YouTube which meant the video was simply not going to play. So what I then looked for was the next number one during May 1969 and that was Tommy Rowe and Dizzy. However I didn't just find a video from 1969, I found a video from 2014. And yep, Tommy Rowe is like looking a lot older just like the rest of us. Enjoy.
simply can't imagine what it must have been like for those Apollo 10 astronauts getting within touching distance of the moon but knowing that their journey was simply a rehearsal a rehearsal of what was to come in Apollo 11 and Neil Armstrong the news for me that defines my year of birth 1969 the first man on the moon 10 9 ignition sequence start 6 5 4 3 2 1 Zero, all engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared. Here we got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading. I last visited Kit Canaveral in the early 90s and I remember standing at the foot of one of those Apollo launch pads looking up in complete amazement of what man achieved during the 1960s. I just can't imagine what it would have been like to travel in that aircraft for three days to the moon and three days back again controlled by a computer with less power than the average calculator in the 1980s. These men like Lean Armstrong were pioneers. They must have had balls of steel. Those astronauts, in my opinion, were without a doubt the bravest of the brave. So for me, the next clip that I'm about to share with you defines my year of birth, defines 1969. There is probably not a human being on Earth that, if asked, cannot place these next words. Words like the eagle has landed. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Words that will go down in history, will go down in history from 1969. Okay, if Apollo 11, Neil Armstrong and the first man in the moon defined my year of birth 1969 for me, where do I go from there? I'm certainly not going to top the moon landings, but I am going to go forward one month to the 15th of August 1969 and a dairy farm in the Catskill Mountains just north of New York City and of course the next first, the first ever Woodstock. Strong man, Uncle Sam, need your help again. Got himself in a terrible jam. Way down yonder in Vietnam. Put down your books and pick up a gun. We're gonna have a whole lot of fun. And it's one, two, three. What are we fighting for? Don't ask me, I don't give a damn. The next stop is Vietnam. And it's five, six, seven. Open up the pearly gates. 
Well, there ain't no time to wonder why Woo-hoo, we're all gonna die. Now come on, Wall Street, don't be slow. I man, this is war a go-go. There's plenty good money to be made. Supplying the army with the tools of the trade. Just hope and pray that if they drop the bomb, they're dropping on the Viet Cong. And it's one, two, three. What are we fighting for? Don't ask me, I don't give a damn. The next stop is Vietnam. And it's five, six, seven. Open up the pearly gates. Well, ain't no time to wonder why we're all gonna die. Now come on, generals, let's move fast. Your big chance is here at last. Now you can go out and get those reds, cause the only good commie is one that's dead. And you know that peace can only be won when you're blowing them all the kingdom come. Sing it! One, two, three. What are we fighting for? So there we go, 1969, a year of firsts, and I can see Tootsie has just joined me as I bring this video to a close. In my last video published on Sunday, the 31st of March 2019, I embarrassed the hell out of poor Craig on his 18th birthday. I did promise Craig that I would do exactly the same to myself. So my next video due to publish on Saturday, the 4th of May 2019, I will be embarrassing the hell out of myself. Until that next video, half a century in the making, thanks for watching and keep living the dream.